Everest is a company, and I've been in this company. I was been recruited immediately after my post graduation. Uh, this company, Everest, was always known as a roofing company who used to make roofing sheets all across uh, India. So my task was to build Everest portfolio beyond corrugated asbestos sheet roofing. And in this pursuit, today I take a little uh, uh, the the pride in. Today, Everest has gone much beyond the roofing company, and we are now today fully equipped to offer turnkey solutions, especially with steel building now. <clears throat> so, Everest has two, three verticals. Out of that, the two major verticals, which is building products and pre-engineered building, we have close to uh, one lakh tons of capa uh, capability to manufacture both in Roorkee and Daej. These are the two plants we have for the steel. Besides, on our fiber cement products, boards and all, we have around eight factories, and now I'm, uh, we are putting up another factory to meet our international demand in based out of Dubai. So the path is that the economy, India, as we all know, typically we are running 50 years behind USA in the development, and uh, as we could see, uh, that even we are, as uh, different uh, speakers before saying, India is lagging, at least the development part, 10 to 15 years. I mean, both our adjoining path, both in the eastern side and western side, be it be a Malaysia or be it be Dubai and other places. So, but with our, uh, our prime minister, Mr. Modi, who is pushing the country and he has got the lot of the waste, prime ministers currently in the world, we all are enthusiastic to take this country to a higher speed and our economy obviously is rated now the fastest growing. So this will call for a lot of infrastructure. It is undenying when it will come, the time is to be decided, but it will certainly come. So the time uh, has now come, time, and Everest is fully prepared to deliver this uh, safety, speed, and strength to all of its constructions. Now, uh, I would share with you, instead of talking much about that, how we are taking this particular uh, fast track uh, speedy solutions through some case studies. Uh, this is a case which we have built in uh, Gurgaon, uh, in Faridabad. This was the Shib Nada school. This is, we built up in 120 days. This was given to us challenge. This is a French architect, Stephen Palmer. He is pro steel and he says, I want to build up something in steel, but he was not finding the right partner to execute. So he came, we fortunately bumped across. This was in December, very tough time for any construction. This was the day one. And this was the day 30th uh, picture, the structure started coming in. On the day 68, we started filling up. It was a combination structure with the light steel and structural steel put together. In our understanding, we do not call it, we call it smart steel. Smart steel is a smart way of using steel. So, uh, and here air conditioning, HVAC, and MEP, everything was covered under our scope. This was day 86 where we started covering this thing up with our cement board, planks, whatever, all our manufactured products. And by day 116, you could see all this door, window, and other paraphernalia started putting in place, and this was 128 days. So this is the promise, and uh, we got 5%. Normally in India, people get LD, liquidated damage. They have been deducted. We got 5% bonus from the client. So that's how we uh, work. And we, we normally make a mafia offer to customers. We say, if I build it on your time, if you put up 10, 5%, if you LD, you say, you will have to pay me 10%. If I don't do it, okay, you don't need, you put my LD double. I'm ready to accept it if I can't do it. So some of the ways project where we did it for POSCO, they wanted for their people, they were traveling every day, commuting almost 102 uh, hours, three hours, taking their graduate engineers and then taking back. And you know, it's a factory set up, people mundane, people don't feel like living in factory set up. So the, the brief to us was, that make something interesting wherein our engineers, because retention of the good engineers is a task for every steel company. So we build up these structures, 20 building, wherein from the interiors, everything this was done by us, except for the loose furnitures. The third one, this is an American joint venture, Odisha Power Steel 
uh, power grid corporations. Still, the same fact story. They, want, they are putting up 1,200 megawatt steel plant, uh, power plant. So that's going to cost them close to almost 12,000 rupee crores. And they were spending for 120 people every day, 4,500 rupees for their hotel and 1,000 rupees for their commuting. So I went out and then told them how much it is going to cost. I said, okay, sir, you are blowing more money than what is. Well, how? I told him 1,200 people, so per day you are spending for 12, 12, 120 people, 5,000 rupees, 6 lakhs rupees, multiplied by 30, 1.8 crores, so in a year you have got 25 crores. Give me 25 crores, I will build up a colony, which you can continue to use for next 40 years, 50 years, because this is structurally vetted for 50 years. And now this has been delivered on time. This is an uh, almost 1 lakh square feet. And uh, this is the interior. So what are we trying to say? The myth about steel, what you all people, the steel is temporary. Steel is not, uh, 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 not seismic resistance. Steel has got limitations with giving aesthetics. Uh, it's actually not, even in the residential part. Uh, so then we started, today we are doing close to 10 locations, structures for NTPC. NTPC being a public sector undertaking, I work for sales, so I understand what typically goes with a public sector mentality. You post some people, engineers at a site, and they don't join there. Because you can't do anything. Their salary, their jobs are secured. So they take long leaves. Why? They take long leaves because they don't get the right accommodations there. So what we build up for them, we started building up these family accommodations. And today we are currently doing, uh, except for televisions and other loose furniture, we are doing these turnkey projects for them. We did for Kudgi, Gadawara, all these distant remote locations. Uh, we are building up these offsite locations for ONGC, uh, Ramnath, Manam Pandalam. In, we are doing a project for GMR. This is their hydroelectricity project, again, for their guest houses and accommodations. Uh, this is the kind of around 12 buildings out of that seven of them we are doing. So, Still, our main theme is that challenging the conventions. The convention practice in India is that do everything in RCC. Here, engineers, including myself, we all are very conversant with RCC, steel. So anything, the moment it comes with the steel, except for pre-engineered building, which has become very popular, regular portal frame structure, people always put it aside. The other reason is that steel building is not cheap. It's expensive. The third thing which goes against steel is that the fire. The steel is not fire resistant. The problem comes in, will it really stand? Steel is light, so structurally it will stand. But what will happen in case disaster or the fire? So we started challenging the convention. And one of the issues was we started uh, in the previous UPA government, they had a lot of focus on the higher education. So they are putting a lot of NITs, IITs, IMs. So we started getting one of these projects. We did it. Uh, this was a small school. Uh, we did this IIT Mandi. IIT Mandi, uh, again, same problem. Uh, teachers don't come because they don't get the right students. Students don't come because they don't find the right teachers coming in. And why are normally a startup uh, educational institutions, even an IIT, like the brand name, they don't get the right people coming in? So in the first year of inductions, there was an instruction from the ministry, it has to be a full. For that, what do you need? You need that accommodation. So they've decided the phase one, they will go with steel, and the phase two, they will go with the conventional. So we did this phase one part of the construction, their administrative building, boys hostel, girls hostel, Aluwalia uh, was a construction company, and it was a, again a hybrid structure, where in structural steel and light steel we did it. We started with India's first school, which was in Indus Valley School in Pune. This was way back, almost in six years back. We did public utility. Rakesh sir was just mentioning about, we were part of some of this Delhi government uh, e-sub-registerer office, wherein we did this two, three buildings with this uh, DTDDC. Uh, then our border security force, this is one building we did it in uh, Dehradun, Nerat. This, they were languishing for long, almost four years because sometime or another they were not been able to do this kind of structure and every time they were put up some issues and other things had come up. So finally this structure, it was been conceived by an architect and finally floated 
that they took the chance and today the whole camp is fully running and operational. They had their guest house, they had their uh, senior people, accommodations. Uh, now currently we are doing at the frontier as our contribution to this nation's security because that's our proto. Uh, the problem with this uh, Ladakh and Leh, this is, uh, I'm not talking about Siachen, where here also the temperature is most of the time uh, in the year it is minus 30 degree. And in minus 30 degree with a very dry wind coming, low oxygen, you can hardly hold your, uh, uh, the Jawan and the Forge, their motivation level up. So the army has taken the decisions that money is not in constraint. We want to hold the people and give them a decent accommodation. They should not feel like they are living in a dabba. Earlier all this steel structure which is typically the, the steel puff structure which used to come, they used to look like a dabba, they feel monotony. They should feel like they are in a, living in a home. So we started giving up this structure. As you could see, these buildings have started coming up in a barren desert in Leh. So we finished almost 16 buildings, uh, ground, ground plus structures. Uh, in the hospitality, this is one structure, which, uh, this was the 3D view. Uh, this is a Novotel. It's we just been handed over. Uh, it's in, in Goa. So this was the 3D view, and this is the actual look of the building. And it started in 1st of January, first week of January, handed over in the month of May. So that was the timeline. Uh, and very recently, we have finished one structure with the Artemis Hospital. The brief, this is a running hospital, and on the top, they, they wanted their major cash flow is in ICU. That too from foreign patients, they get, India is fast gaining a good destination for medical tourism. Not as good like Thailand and other, but yes. These people encast on this medical and they say, you can charge us more, but you will have to finish the structure on time. So this is the structure what we have built up on the fourth floor. They had a lot of constraint that we had to take material. It's a running hospital. You cannot disturb anybody. Everything has to happen in, and this structure is now delivered. On the top, uh, as you could see, this is the existing one, and this is the uh, existing, and this one, the extension part of it. We did uh, next to Indira Gandhi, uh, the, this Terminal 3, there was an, a police headquarter, uh, which uh, they wanted to come up in quick. This has been handed over. The structure is now, every time you come out of the T3, on the right-hand side, you can see the structure. Uh, this was the location, ground plus four structure. And this is the core mall, which is, I only have, unfortunately, because this is not yet construction started. This is uh, uh, architect uh, Novak. They have been, they conceived, this is a co mall which is coming up in Gaziabad. Uh, this is the ground plus 11. This is a mixed use building. Uh, I only have the 3D views to show it. But uh, what I'm trying to show you that, uh, uh, that Everest has uh, delivered and we are continuously trying to deliver in our promise to give a smart construction solutions. And that's why we got this Limca book of records for putting up a building in less than 90 days uh, in Lucknow. And this uh, effort continues. So we are available any time any one of you are uh, looking at something speedy, time-bound structure, please do call us. We may be a bit expensive, but we not, not always be going to be. Uh, I'm through. I'm only going to run a video, but if you have some questions. Yes. We are facing very valid. We did try for uh, the rehabilitation project under BMPTC. Uh, this was around 130 crores project where we bid it for it. Our structure was approved. Uh, but finally, uh, the issue was that our costing was coming 39 square meter, each floor four flats. That is typical government of India. Their budget was four lakhs rupees. Uh, we were marginally higher. We were. Uh, uh, they were asking us to do less than 1,000 rupees, 1,100 rupees. Our costing was coming at 1,300 rupees. But otherwise, we have our friends from JSPL. We did one structure for them. That was, that point of time, costing was 1,100 rupees, which was for their labor accommodation. But not the labor accommodation, but for the residential uh, accommodations, uh, it's possible. Only thing is that it needs a scale. 
So who is going to put the cat amongst the pigeon? The issue is if we really want to break the cost and why the cost in internationally, I took this particular concept of putting this in India and persuaded my management to take it forward because for last two decades, we are supplying all this material across the world. And we found that we are supplying material from our factory in India. People are putting up structures in Istanbul. People are putting up, we built 1.6 million square meter of housing in Abu Dhabi. We built uh, 1.2 million square meter of uh, housing in Iran. We built up a 0.8 million square meter of housing in uh, Turkey. And in India, 500 square feet, 300 square feet, 200 square feet. So why? But we told, okay, let's start the process. Let the ball growing on. Let the initiation happen. So we took this initiative and now this is, and I'm sure with this uh, uh, ministry's PMO's directive housing for all scheme coming up in a big way, we all in the housing industry and the steel industry will get the benefit and they are seriously actively looking forward for an alternative to uh, regular conventional construction. That's my submission. Thank you very much for your patient hearing.